know about you, but on a night like this, there's nothing I like better than curling up by the fire with a mug of hot apple cider and a good scary legend. Tonight's story is adapted from Washington Irving's The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. It's about a school teacher named Ichabod Crane who... Ooh. Well, you'll see. Hello! 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 This particular little stretch of gloom is about two miles from a small Hudson River settlement called Terrytown. About 30 miles north of New York City by horseback. Over there, the road goes through Sleepy Hollow. People on the farms around here speak of it in whispers when they speak of it at all, and they absolutely avoid it about this time of day. They say that a ghost haunts the place. Me? I don't believe in much. I'm a salesman. Okay. Who is it? No. Oh, never mind. No, don't, don't tell me. Don't tell me. I don't want to know. Uh, Whoa! Ah! Hey! 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 Uh, my name, my name is Ichabod Crane. I'm just, uh, I'm just a school teacher. <laughs> I, I'm nothing for you, see? No money, no food, uh, nothing you would want. Uh, and don't tell me who you are, because I really, I don't want to know. Go! <laughs> oh, oh, like I said, it's none of my business. Oh, dear. Oh, oh. oh did I mention it's the turn of the century? The 19th century. Hello! Settlements are hard to find. Especially if you're looking for them in the dark. Hello! Is anyone there? Keep coming! I'm coming! Keep coming! I'm coming! I'm coming! Keep coming! Soup? Who, who are you? Dofu Van Tassel, Mr. Crane. How, how did you know my name? I presume you're the new schoolmaster they've been expecting. You don't look like a farmer the way you came through the brush. <laughs> no, I suppose I don't. But you know, I think there was something back there. Oh? No, 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 just the woods. Of course, people in these parts like to make up silly stories, you know. Make life a little more exciting. <laughs> pass the time on those long autumn nights. Like what? Oh, silly legend, really. For example, there's the one about the uh, highwayman that rides through these woods and spirits away any unsuspecting rider that may pass by. <laughs> well, a highwayman, while being a nuisance, is hardly a... Oh, did I mention <laughs> that he was dead? Uh, he's dead? Yes. Thus the end of the legend. No, no, no. According to the legend, he still rides. Yet he's dead. <laughs> yeah. Silly, isn't it? <laughs> Silly. Did I mention that he was missing his head? <coughs> his head? Yes. 
silly, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so silly. Buzzy legends usually take root long about Halloween, you know. Along with other childish things like popcorn balls, mulled cider, witches on broomsticks. Halloween is hardly a childish matter. It's a one night I stay home tucked in my bed. I mean, why go out and face the chance of bumping into, uh, into, uh, trees? Do you find that works? No, no, I don't believe it myself. But you can't completely disregard. I mean, <laughs> you have to do something to guard yourself against, uh, against... Uh, Lizard wine! Lizard wine? Lizard wine! Guaranteed repellent. Spirits and what have you. Of course, I, uh, I thought it was a cough remedy until I sold it to some gypsies. And they used it to frighten away some elephant spirit. <laughs> Must have worked. I ain't seen an elephant in these parts in years. <laughs> Who is that? Oh, my nephew, Henrik. Sleeping in the wagon. Dropping him off at his dad dad's in the morning. Oh. I suppose it'll be one of your pupils, Mr. Crane, when you take your new position. No, no, I've completely changed my mind on that matter. I, uh, uh, I have a very nervous disposition, Mr. Van Tassel. I can see immediately that this area is not suited for me at all. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I do hope it wasn't me that put you off. Oh, my word, I would be sorry about that. No. Oh, no fool, no, no fool. Shame on you for going on and worrying the good scholar. More soup. The next day, on our way to my brother's house, Mr. Crane seemed like a new man. His fears of the previous night had disappeared in the light of the warm autumn sun. Or so I thought. Naturally, I wouldn't think of leaving them high and dry. I'm an honorable man. Good for you, Mr. Crane. No, I'll certainly stay a bit until we get someone else. But I'll certainly be gone by, say, Halloween. Good stuff. <laughs> Effective. Uh, I've no doubt. Paul Bram, where are you going? I don't know. I thought I'd drop over and see your niece. Paul Bram, look what I've got! Ah, who made them for you? Mr. Crane! Ah, that shows a steady nature. Mr. Bones, Mr. Crane. How'd you do? Mr. Crane's taking over the position of schoolmaster. Yeah. Unfortunately, only temporarily due to a nervous condition. Well, that was last night. It was dark. I was lost. Well, good paper dolly cut men are hard to find. You gonna take Katrina to the fair, Bram? Who else? Daredevil gonna win that race? Who else, lad? I'm betting on you, Brom. Nobody can beat Daredevil. Yes, sir. He'll be coming off that starting line like he was bolting from the gates of hell. Ha! Devil? Devil? Passed your brother on the road with Hendrick. Had a new school teacher with him. Ah, good. Beth, the man's only a week late. They're about a farthing short, I'd say, too. <laughs> Hello, Brom. Hello, Katrina. Stay for tea? I've just made a pot by sheer coincidence. Imagine that. You don't want any tea, Father. Do you? Me? Oh, well. <laughs> if uh, you'll excuse me, children, I've got some uh, corn to chuck. <laughs> One lump or two? Katrina Van Tassel, you know I never have sugar in my tea. Nevertheless. A lady never assumed. I like my tea strong. Sugar's only for namby-pambies. Go on, feel that arm. Oh, Rob Bones, you're such a lummox. Well, what time shall this lummox call for you on Saturday? Saturday? What Saturday? What Saturday? Why the fair? Haven't you been listening to the town crier? Everybody's talking about it. I don't recall receiving any invitation. Invitation, Katrina. We've been going to the fairs in this county since before we could walk. Every year it's the winter fair, the spring fair, the harvest fair. 
Don't forget that turnip fair, either. And every year I expect to time the invitation to the winter fair, the spring fair, the harvest fair, and the turnip fair. Well, a fair ain't a fair till you and I show up arm in arm. Not another suitor, is it? I'll tear his face off, I will. Strength isn't everything. Still, it's not a bad thing to fall back on in a fight. A girl needs some sensitivity, some refinement. Who's that? Well, that's your uncle. No, no, the one with him. Well, that's your little brother, Hendrik. Assuming I already know the horse, who's left? Oh, that, that's only the new school teacher. Crane, I think, is his name. Hmm. Easy to see how he came by it, huh? <laughs> the new school teacher. Well, he certainly walks well. Wait till you see what the man can do with a pair of scissors. Katrina! Look what I got! Oh! Isn't it nice? Why, yes, it's just wonderful, Hendrix. Didn't I tell you the man was a genius? Katrina! Uncle, don't fool. Katrina, meet the man we've all been expecting to take over the school. Katrina Van Tassel. Mr. Ichabod Crane, how'd you do? Oh, Mr. Crane, how elegant. <laughs> Isn't it, Brom? And how? Unfortunately, he's only an interim man, it seems, here temporarily. Oh, Mr. Crane, only temporarily. Well, I, uh... <laughs> what a pity. What a loss for the children. What a crying shame. So, uh, when are you leaving, Crane? And we've been told you have such a lovely singing voice. <laughs> oh, please. We're all so anxious to hear you in church. Oh, dear. Well, I... Uh... Oh, Mr. Crane, you don't know. All the ladies in the whole region have been just counting on you to take over our choir. The choir? Ladies' choir? Well... <laughs> More's the pity. What it needs is strong male guidance. Why, we're absolutely useless without a leader. Well... <clears throat> I'd say he's weakening. And I know for a fact that everyone is looking forward to being favored with your presence for tea and cookies. Cookies? I think that just about did it. We've been drawing straws to see who will be the first. Cookies, I love cookies. Sugar cookies, butter cookies. Oh, 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 you should try my butter cookies. Katrina! Yes, Ron? Nothing? They just melt in your mouth. Mm, Katrina! Yes, Ron? <laughs> Mr. Crane? Stay for tea? <laughs> And cookie? And so it was that Ichabod Crane, without Brom Bone's complete approval, came to be the permanent schoolmaster of the region. But even with the security his newfound position brought him, there was one thing the new school teacher feared with all his being. The night. His first near sleepy house. It's a pleasure to be here, ma'am. Have a restful night, Mr. Crane. I will. I will. If I live through it. <sighs> All right. Let's relax. We had a good day. That's some pleasant company. Dofu is quite a fellow. Hendrik. Hendrik is a prize. And Katrina. <laughs> There's a peach worth picking. I'm not too clear on Brom Bones, though. Strange fellow, strange fellow. I shall watch him. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. And if I die before I wake, bring me back to life. Ooh. Oh! Oh! All right, here I go. I'm getting in the bed. I'm fine so far. Ha <laughs> ha
When the man got any sleep is beyond me. One and one is two. Two and two is four. But four. while the night was filled with horrors, the rising of the sun seemed to bring a new vitality to the school teacher. That, and I'm sure, several pots of coffee. He turned out to be a conscientious man and ever bore in mind the golden maxim, spare the rod and spoil the child. As a child myself, I always hated that maxim. Thank you, thank you, Hendrik. Return to your seat. We've had quite enough of your shenanigans, Mr. Van der Kar. Will you please assume the angle? Ah, oh, gee. <laughs> that will be quite sufficient, Mr. Van der Kar. You ready? This will hurt me more than it will hurt you. If Dickabot only knew, perhaps he'd award the lad high marks for dramatics. Ouch! You children are possessed. I guess when a man is as skittish as poor Ichabod, he sees the devil in slate, almost please. anything. And your chalk. Even the most pastoral of settings was fraught with terror for Ichabod. Would you care for any more? Uh, no, thank you, sir. It's amazing how filling olives can be. <laughs> oh, my God. Keep me. Protect me. Henrik, don't move. What is it, Mr. Crick? Ah! 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 Spider. Just a spider? Just a spider. That's what he'd like us to think. Actually, it's Satan himself. What should I do? Stop, stop. Follow my instructions carefully. Open your eyes and mouth as wide as you can. Okay. Now, that will keep him from spinning his web and spinning them shut. Turn in a circle all the time saying, I like Swiss chart. I like Swiss chart. I don't like Swiss chart. Never mind. Do it. Do it, lad. Turn. I turn. Like no, it. turn the other way. I Yes! Run, Lucifer! Run! You'll not reap any souls here today! <laughs> you can stop, lad. He's gone back to hell. <sighs> oh, Hendrik. Hendrik, lad. I'm sorry if I frightened you. <laughs> You're just an innocent babe, aren't you? You look around here. All you see are the trees, the babbling brook, the beasts of the forest. Spiders? Exactly! Exactly! Lying below the floor and fauna of this Garden of Eden are evil. Evil, ugly things. Things? Yes. That's why I keep this. <laughs> Lucky rabbit's foot. <laughs> it guards me against hobgoblins, evil spirits, things that go bump in the night. Oh, uh, those things. Yes, that's not all I keep in my person. I also have a four-leaf clover, <laughs> lucky penny, and this garlic. Oh, so that's what that smell is. <laughs> That, my dear boy, will keep away the undead. I think I can speak the living as well. <sighs> Enough frivolity. Too much fun can spoil a young mind. Shall we head back? Oh, sure. I lie, says God. I lie, says God. I lie, says God. Henrik was not the only one impressed by Crane. The farmer's wives were vying with each other for the privilege of hosting his weekly choir practice. To Crane, it meant traveling through this cursed country alone. Ah, but the prospect of good food and pretty women, Katrina especially, helped the school teacher find the courage. Oh. Protect me. Keep me. Yes, stay, kitty. Nice, kitty. Yes. Obviously, Look. he hasn't found it yet. Cute, adorable little messenger from hell. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Crane, is something wrong? Is someone chasing you? A highwayman? Chasing me? No, 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 no. I was just, uh, I was, uh, running. <laughs> from what? From, uh, from fat. Yes, from fat. Bad digestion and an early death. <laughs> running is good for the body. Why, it's all the rage in New York. It is? Oh, yes. Well, we'll just have to try it then. <sighs> oh, Mr. Crane, it is so good to have a gentleman of such bearing and sophistication to enlighten and upgrade our rather humdrum rural culture. <laughs> Madam, I am your servant. Oh, Katrina, we almost forgot to feed the cat. Cat? Oh, you have a cat here. Oh, he's outside. I'll just get him. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. I'll feed him. Yes. <laughs> he's there. Mr. Crane? Oh, no, no, Kitty likes it better that way. Yes, it helps to sharpen his primitive hunting instincts. Uh, besides, uh, we can't have him in the house before choir practice. Uh, he has fur, and when fur flies, it gets caught in our vocal cords. Yes. Oh, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> yes, you 
you know, they've banned felines from the Paris Opera because of it? They have? Yes. Yes. Let's begin with a familiar selection on page two, please. <laughs> children and those of you that practice temperance this here is the local tavern come to think of it it's the only tavern nothing much goes on in this region that hasn't been talked about here <laughs> and i wish those boys would hold it down i might <laughs> If you can't beat him. <laughs> what is it about him, anyway? Katrina swooning all over him, her mother, too, I think. Uh, they're all like that, inviting him into our homes, cooking for him. Yeah. Don't tell me. We're discussing the school teacher. School teacher, ha. Huh? If she can't see him for what he is, which is not much, I think. You ought to challenge him to a fight, is what I think. Ah, there you go. Ah. Nah, I'd turn him into bone splinters with one blow. No, nah, that's... That's no challenge. Besides, from what I can see of the man's timid nature, he'd faint before you could clench your fist. Mm. What's that? The man's a coward? Did I say that? I did not say that. It was the ale talking. Mm. He always seemed a bit skittish, and, well, the paper doll, that, uh... <laughs> the man has an artist's mind. The man has a chicken's heart. So what are you gonna do about it, Brom? <laughs> I don't know. But I'll be thinking on it. <laughs> Much as I hate to admit it, my big mouth was an invaluable aid to Brahms' thinking. He wasted no time. At night, following choir practice, Brahm launched his scary scheme to rid the hollow of its schoolmaster. Come on! Come on, Crane! As lame as Brahm's first attempt was, it scared Ichabod. But Brahm was greatly aided by the school teacher's worst fear, the night itself. And Brahm's practical joke had merely provided a starting point for the terror that Ichabod was fully able to inflict on himself. Not a black cat. Oh, not. He's missing his head. Of course, I'll stay. He's missing his head. Bolting from Get the away. gates of hell. He's door. missing his head. I can't deserve Bolting the children. from the gates oh, of hell. Me. I've been good. Bolting from the gates of hell. <laughs> taste my butter cookies? Just oh, taste no. my butter cookies. Oh, no. Much I have garlic. Just a cat. spider. I love Swiss Someone chasing you. Where's your body? Crucifix. Someone chasing you. Did you see? Is someone chasing <laughs> you. <laughs> Where's your body? I still don't know when the man got any sleep. The dawn brought an end to Ichabod's terror-filled night. That day, the school teacher arrived at his classroom especially early. For it was a place of learning, a place where he felt safe, comfortable, and in control. A place Brom Bones had visited the night before. Mr. Crane, what's happening? 
even you poor, poor man. Please let me help you. Katrina, I'm glad you've come. You will save me going to your house to say goodbye. Goodbye? But, but you just got here. Uh, I know. I know. But I can't stay in this cursed place any longer, so goodbye. But the, the fair's coming up. I know. Have a wonderful time. <laughs> I don't know how that would be possible without you there to be with me. Katrina, I can't. I'd love to, really, but I can't. Well, if you can't, you can't. Right. I can't. I guess I shan't be going either. Well, don't miss the fair on my account. Oh, yeah. For the first time in ten years, I shall miss the fair, but don't trouble yourself if you can't. You can. Oh. Oh, wait. Please don't. Please don't cry. I had no idea. It means that much to you. I hate to disappoint you. You are a gentleman. Oh, I wouldn't want it on my conscience. <laughs> Will there be strudel? Well, the day of the fair had arrived, and much to Brom's dismay, the school teacher was still there. Now, I know I'm Katrina's uncle, and I love her like a niece. But how do you figure a girl who fights like a wildcat to get one jet to come to the fair only to arrive in the company of another? <laughs> Women. Can't live with them. Can't live without them. Well, what do I know? I'm a bachelor. Oh. Well, this is what I'm not sure, and there was no answer. And finally, when it did open up, there he was, thrashing about the classroom, knocking over books and benches with the chair that was stuck to the seat of his pants. I felt so sorry for him. The poor man, he looked so scared, just like a cute little helpless puppy. Hey, well, I can look helpless, too, you know. I wonder if I put enough sugar in these turnovers. I hope I'll win. I spent just hours. Oh, you'll win? What about me? I've a race to win. And I should be wearing your kerchief so everybody knows I'm winning it for you. Oh, what do you need my kerchief for? Isn't it enough that I came with you, Brombone? Oh, I so love a festive atmosphere. Mitchell? The bumpkin. Yeah. It is fun, isn't it, Mr. Crane? Oh, Mr. Oh, Crane, you must tell me what you think of this strudel. Mm. Oh, Mother, be careful here. He's getting it on his jacket. Oh, yes. Here's my kerchief. Delicious. Gentlemen, bring your horses to the starting line. Katrina, I've come for your kerchief. Matthew. I'll win without it. Oh, but, Brom, I, I would just... Good luck! Now, listen up, lads. We wouldn't want to lose anyone out there. From here, you go past Massacre Ridge. Then about 50 leagues till you get to Vampire Butte. Now, this next is very important. Take a left. You got that? A left. Now, last year, some poor soul took a right and gave Screaming Bob Gorge the name it bears today. So take a left. Remember, next you go around Hangman Tree, down through Sleepy Hollow, and back here to the finish. Same rules as last year. Whoever finishes first is the winner. And no kicking or gouging. In sight of the lady. <coughs> Massacre Ridge, Vampire Butte. Are you enjoying yourself, Mr. Crane? Oh, yes, dear lady. I'm having a wonderful time. Thank you. You think this is fun? Why do you come to my party? Oh, really? I'd love to. When is that? Halloween night. Halloween? <laughs> <laughs> Well, now, Katrina, don't get me wrong. I, I'd love to attend your party, really, but Halloween, I can't. I don't dare. Oh, but who shall I dance with? Well, there are many who'd love to dance with you. <laughs> but none with your grace or your elegance or the style to sweep me across the floor. Well, I wouldn't want you to get your feet stepped on. Oh, oh thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> For a moment, I didn't think I had a ghost of a chance. <laughs> Go! Poor Brahms seemed
seems to have been the only rider without a scarf. Well, if poor Brahm would learn how to treat a lady. Katrina, dear, that is the way men are here. They know no better. Well, maybe they should take some lessons from the school teacher. You man, let's split up. Looks like we got a name of Gorge after Rudolph. Oh, Tom, I knew you could do it. Uh huh. Well, would the winner of the race like to escort me around the fair? I could rub down Daredevil. Bravo! You, you, you farmer! The next day, the farmers congregated at the usual gathering place to talk about the fair, and to listen to the latest news according to the well-read Mr. Crane. Just listen to this. The German physician F.J. Galt says you can tell how intelligent a man is by counting the bumps on his head. Oh, Crane, I'd watch Brom Bones if I were you. Hmm? How's that? You could suddenly get very intelligent. <laughs> what a race, what a race. That's three years running, Brom. You and Daredevil are an unbeatable team. <laughs> Well, the Van Tassels seem to leave the fair early, Brown. Well, haven't you heard, lad? Miss Van Tassel's come up in the world. No, she has no time for a common dirt farmer like me. No, she prefers a more sophisticated, sensitive, gentle man. Well, I never thought I'd see the day that Brom Bones would knuckle under. <laughs> oh. oh! Anyone want to join him? Huh? No, no, no. I have to apologize, lad. I don't like it when I get like this. Yeah, I don't either. But every time I think of that overgrown school teacher who looks like a mosquito and my girl together. What good would it do to tear him in half? Katrina would only be cross with me. Yeah. Uh, uh, then where would I be, eh? Put that on my tab. Can I give you a lift, son? Sure. What you got there? Mr. Crane made it for me. He says it's absolutely necessary to put it out on Halloween night to keep away evil spirits and hobgoblins. Well, oh, the man's a jack of all trades, huh? You come at a Halloween party, Brom? I don't know, lad. I don't know. Mr. Crane is. He says for Katrina, he'll even go out in the night. The devil dances with ghosts. And the trees themselves have evil eyes. Come here, lad. Where are you getting these stories? Mr. Crane. <sighs> Mr. Crane. Mr. Crane. Well, perhaps I should go to the party to make sure Mr. Crane makes it, huh? Great. Brom, do you believe in ghosts? No, lad. Neither do I. I like Swiss chart. I like Swiss chart. I like Swiss chart. At last, the night of the party had arrived. Ichabod mustered up his courage, pocketed all his charms, and took great pains to look his best for Katrina. It's Halloween anyway. It's a day. Just like any other day. The sun rises, the sun sets, the sun... sun... Ah! Protect me! Keep me! Katrina would hardly be impressed by a man frightened by a hat in a bed or an open umbrella. Oh, pull yourself together. Relax, relax. We must weigh the good against the bad. The bad? It's Halloween. That's very bad. The good? Ah, oh, Katrina. Katrina. Party. Food. 
Katrina, food. <sighs> Once again, good triumphs over evil. I'm not dreaming. I shall rescue the fair Katrina like a knight rides to the aid of a maiden in distress. As for the legend of Sleepy Hollow, I laugh at you. <laughs> My gallant steed and I shall ride so fast, we will appear like the March wind. Silly superstition. <laughs> Well, what Ichabod doesn't know shouldn't hurt him. Oh, yeah, your gunpowder, we're going to be just fine. Yes, you're a good horse. Okay, I'm going to get up now very slowly. Go to the party, get you some of Katrina's butter cookies. Yes. Like any noble knight, Crane was in need of a noble steed. And so he borrowed a horse appropriately named Gunpowder from Farmer Van Ripper. Okay, I'm going to go down there to the party. Come here, boy. Good boy. Good horse. Come here. But, okay. sir, Ichabod's equestrian skills did not quite match the gallant image he had of himself. In truth, the schoolteacher had been up on a horse two, maybe three times in his entire life. And then, I'm sure, only by accident. Okay. 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 Come around this way. That's a good boy. We'll try another way to party. His house was filled with friends and neighbors. For he was a very popular man as well as a very successful one. Make no mistake, his visible wealth was not lost on the school teacher. Thank you. Wonderful party. Would you like to see? Oh, I'd love one. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, may I have a light? <laughs> Mrs. Van Tassel is looking lovely, by the way. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Thank lovely you. lady. <laughs> Wonderful cigar. Wonderful party. Oh, hello, hello. Thank you so much. Wonderful. How'd you do? <laughs> Excellent bouquet. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> hello, hello. How can you The women on the arms of their men were only slightly less cordial to him than usual. The men were cold. It was probably lost on Crane, his mind reeling from all the sumptuous, elegant, delicious. Oh, to live in this house. To live in this house with Katrina. <laughs> yes. There he is, watching me, always watching me. But is he anyway? Nothing more than the farmer? <laughs> mm, Katrina, look at that dress. Think of the cost of it. Woo. Everyone, it's time for a dance. Now or never? Katrina, may I have the pleasure of this dance? It must have taken him real courage, but he was a driven man. They danced and danced. Ichabod Crane was in his element, the center of attention with a lovely, young, rich dancing partner. Wow. 
after her, Brom. No, I'm just a country club beside the dancing master. Ah, go after her. Why not? We'll find out what's what once and for all. <laughs> Pardon me, Mr. Crane. I was finished dancing anyway. I'm so darn jealous of Ichabod Crane. Jealous? I don't blame you. He's a wonderful dancer. Oh, really? What's this? Pardon me, Mr. Bones? I was done dancing anyway. Unlike the well-traveled school teacher, Brom Bones did not know much about dancing and party manners. The night was still young, and Brom, smitten with love and jealousy, did know how to use the party to his best and Crane's worst advantage. It was the highwayman. Ten men had trapped him in the woods. What happened? Eleven o'clock Halloween Eve, by tradition, was story time. When it got around to Brom, he told his version of the legend, which all knew. But he added some nice touches of his own. In a little clearing, they made a fighting circle. This time, he would not escape. You could hear the clash of steel from miles. <laughs> but in the worst part of the battle, the moon went behind a cloud. And it was black as pitch. The man didn't see the sword that killed him. His head dropped from between his shoulders. The horse reared and bolted, carrying the body with him. They never found him. But on Halloween, he comes riding back, hearing his moldering head under his arm, looking for a fresh one. He can snatch and put on his own shoulders. Grizzly, but effective, I think. Good night. Lovely. Happy Halloween. Oh, Mr. Crane. Have you seen Brom? Katrina, may I speak to you for a moment? I have something important to say to you. Something in my heart, I feel... Oh, Ichabod. It was so nice of you to stay to say goodnight to me. Thank you for coming. Good night. Oh, no, I... Oh, dear. Good night. Well, Ichabod never made his point with Katrina. But he figured there was always tomorrow. Come on, Gunpowder. Come on, brave steed. For once in your life, be courageous. Courage, Crane, courage. Double with courage. What's that sound? Heard it once. Heard it before. Who's that in the tree? You can't hurt me. No. I have lizard wine. Guaranteed repellent? <laughs> Besides, you know who said? Yes, it's only a silly legend. <sighs> okay, Gunpowder. Good boy. Do what you're doing, only faster. <sighs> what is that sound? You know what that is? That's another horsey. Yes, another horsey that thinks she's fast like you, but he's not. I, I can tell by looking at you that you're a thoroughbred. We know how important good reading can be. <laughs> Is that here he comes? You're not gonna let him catch you, are you? No, you can't. No. Go, Gunpowder. Go. Show him what you're made of. Go, Gunpowder. Go. <laughs>
<laughs> well, his feet are flailing all over the saddle when suddenly the dumb beast veers off the road and runs into the woods. <laughs> Oh, tell us, Brom, are you and Katrina planning on inviting Crane to the wedding? Only if his horse stops long enough for him to receive an invitation. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. That, my dear friends, was Halloween in Sleepy Hollow. Not your run-of-the-mill observance, you must admit, but then not many regions have a real live ghost riding the hills. Oh, do fool, do fool. You telling these nice people, did I say real? You must forgive me. But when you've lived with a legend as long as we have, well, you understand. As for the poor school teacher, who knows? Staying one step ahead of the devil, I suspect. Brom Bones? Well, I'd like to say he lived happily ever after, and why not? He had his lady, fast horse, his great strength. I'd like to say that. Except for this night. The night after Halloween. The night Brom Bones came face to face with a legend. I'm sleepy hollow. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you'd like to help us produce more compelling historical content like this, please like, comment below, and share this video with fellow history buffs. And of course, be sure to subscribe to help keep history happening.